I wonder what I should make today. <gasps> I know, but this video is a little different. I don't think I'm going to use electronics for this video. So let's make some shelves to make my background a little more pretty. We are at Home Depot to get some wood for my shelf, so let's go see what they have. So much wood. I think this would be the perfect wood, and I can cut really easily for the hexagon shape that I want for my shelf, so I think this is perfect wood. Let's get it. Welcome to my garage, and this is a table, but wait, there's more! Ah! 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 Apparently I'm not that strong. Well, you see right here, there's a saw, alright? <laughs> so, it's going to be the table color I like to call it. So, I'm going to cut the wood into six inch uh, strips. And like I said before, this is my dad's, but don't tell him it's mine now since I'm using it. So, <laughs> so I'm going to cut the wood into six inch strips. So let's get started. So this is a minor saw and I'm going to cut it at, so like it can turn the saw so it can cut at an angle. So like um, it can, uh, cut sideways on the wood and right, this right here this is the stopper block so like um we know how like how far to put the wood you know like right here or past that block so um i'm going to cut this at a angle so we can just get it right for our shelf Right here we have 60 wood pieces for our hexagon for our shop. Um, what we have right here is 3D printed jigs. So what we're going to do with these is these are like supporters. They're going to hold the wood like this. So like it's not all scrambled up and stuff like that. And right here, this is for the top of the wood to connect it. Um, so, um, after we like connect it all, we hot glue it uh, to, yeah, no, we uh, use this glue, wood glue, and we uh, glue the obviously wood together in these corners right here. Um, so, and right here, while the glue is drying with this, we are going to like push a hexagon together so the glue can dry and it, the hexagons are like a little gap in between each other with the glue. So let's get building those hexagons. We got all the hexagons glued together. Now we are going to glue all of them together to make a honeycomb-like shape. Me and my dad are done wood filling it and sand edging it so it looks uh, like smoother. So what we're going to do now is uh, paint it so it looks nicer and more like the wood in our house. So let's get to that. We are going to use this wood stain to uh, 
paint it all because I think it looks really cool right here. And to be honest, I think that's the same can when I first moved into the house. It's the same color as my doors. So I'm still going to use it. So let's get painting. We're done staining. Now we have to figure out how to attach this to the wall. I'm screwing in these little pieces to the shelf so that so I can use it later to hook it up to the wall. So let me screw these in. We cleared the wall and we added screws in to hang up our shelf. So let's hang it up. Now we hung it up. Now let's decorate it. Here's my levitator. You guys probably remember this. Now let's see if it can fit. Oh, plenty of space. Let's see, what else? Here's this R. I can always sign. Let's set that over here. How about up here? There we go. Here's also my cat laser. <laughs> Here it is. Now we'll set this one right over right here. Hmm. Hmm. I know what to add back there. There's one. There we go. Ooh. Perfect. Now let's put it up here. That's all we have to show for today. So please do hit that subscribe button right down there and click the bell so you won't miss a video and goodbye.